All right, so for my Creed Standard presentation, I have chose modeling to focus on and explain. So just an overview of the Creed Standards. There are seven of them, as you can see listed here. Um, I will be focusing on modeling, as I said previously. So what is modeling? Modeling is helping children to learn by observation. And as you can see in the picture, this teacher looks like he's running some sort of science class and is showing children models of molecules to better help them understand their learning. So how do we model? We need to show them our thought processes, the behaviors, or how to do the task. Sometimes it may require all three. Then we're going to give examples. And finally, we'll help the children while they practice whatever it is we're trying to teach them. <clears throat> so I have an example here. My example is how to add decimals. So we'll start by modeling how to do it. So as the teacher, you would show them how you line up the decimal points, you add them as normal, and then drop the decimal point down. Then step two, is providing examples. You would provide the children with several examples on the board of how to add decimals and maybe have a few kids come up to the board to help you figure out how to add them. And then finally, you'll help the children while they practice adding decimals, whether it be in small groups, by themselves, at their desks, on whiteboards, paper, pencil, maybe doing a worksheet is your form of practice, but some form of practice where you can help them better understand while they work. So here is a video example. We picked this and I think that one could fit. Ah, this is a fern leaf. Mom, These are ferns. So let's pick a little, okay, put that in there. Let's pick some of the fern leaves. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta kind of pull it like halfway. Oh, you sure did. That's a very big leaf. As you just heard, she was modeling and explaining how you pick the leaves by saying that you have to pull them down. There, so this is an example of modeling to her students. And we will continue on. Yeah. Watch it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we don't need the tiny leaves. We want like the leaf and the stem. Okay, we can try that one. And let's see. Oh, let's try and get. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna try and get the um the whole leaf. Let's see if we can get the whole leaf instead of breaking parts of it. Let's see if we can find one. Ah! Oh, maybe this one. Let's try this one. I'm gonna um pull it down. Okay. Let's see if we can use this. Oh, got it. Got it. Got a papaya leaf. This is from the papaya plant. All right. Okay. So my friend. Kalea, could you hold this leaf? Yeah. That is a pretty big leaf. Okay, look around. Let's see if we can find more. I put the paper towel in there to absorb some of the, the paint. And it okay, so here she's going to show them physically how to get the paint ready and then press the leaf in. So she's doing the first step of modeling by showing them. Not too much. And then I press it in there because printing is pressing, right? and then lifting, okay? Yeah, you wanna try it on your paper? Okay, so I want Kalei to take it. Press it on your paper, Kalei, with your hand. There you go. Right, okay, and then don't forget the tip, right? Press it all the way down. Okay, and then lift. And then you can lift it up very slowly. <gasps> Look at that! What did we make, Kalei? <laughs> and then she also now has her finished example product for the children to look off to know what theirs is supposed to look like. <laughs> you can wash that, right? Look at that. What did we make? What did she make with that? You have the print of the leaf. So we're calling it leaf printing, right? We're going to do that kind of art. Okay? That kind of looks like it's a leaf. It does. That's why we're doing leaf printing. Okay, so my friend Riley, can you do me a favor? Can you dab some paint on there with your hand like I showed you? Yeah, just a little bit. Just soak it up just a little bit. Yeah, and then pat it all around. Okay, and then... 
and now she's having her students actually do it and helping them while they practice, just as our three steps of modeling said. And lift it up, and I want you to turn it over so we can use that side for the... Okay. Oh, that was kind of tricky, huh? It's like suction. The paint just sticks to the paper towel. My friend Aiden, can you do this one? Here you go. Fold the paper towel in half. Okay. And then stick it on there. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. And then now, see if you can turn it over. Riley, can you pass the black? Because it's kind of far away from Ari. Pass it to Ari. He didn't get a turn yet. Okay, Ari, show me what, you, what you're going to do. Okay? And now she's even having the one student see if he can demonstrate what he's supposed to do without her assistance. paints ready okay and then we collected lots of leaves right does anyone remember what kind of leaf this was with the tiny little leaves on here a little spores on there these this one is called a fern leaf yeah who would like to try printing the fern leaf okay i'm gonna give it to aiden aiden you can pick a color and then Nathan and Lynn just joined us. Lynn and Nathan, we're going to be doing some leaf printing. Okay, so we have different color leaves, different color paints. We have several leaves here that we collected from the two-year-old garden. Okay, and we have paper towels here that stays inside the pan so you can absorb the paint. And we just pass the leaf on that paper towel. Let's turn it over, my dear. I think it might absorb a little bit better if it's turned over because it's facing that way. Yeah, and then keep, see, watch Kalea. Okay, Kalea, show them. How you do your leaf. Okay, so now she's even having another student help explain to the new students that just arrived at the table how to do the leaf printing. Printing, right? Yep. So she's using. And then what do you do? Okay, tell them what you do. Hold the paper down if it finishes. Oh, and look at it. It still needs a little bit more, so let's press it a little bit more, Colleen. Okay. Press it out really hard. Yeah, because we want lots of paint on there. Okay. 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 And then, what are you going to do next? So as you can see, she did an excellent job demonstrating how we model for children. So in conclusion, um, how we model is by showing our thought process, the behavior, or how to do a task. So this could range from anything from how to do leaf printing, or adding decimals, or maybe you want to show children how we stand in line or line up for lunch. I know at my work, I work with behavior students and I do a lot of modeling at work just showing basic things of how to sit on the carpet or how we sit in the kitchen. And I always start out by showing them how to sit on the carpet. Then I give examples of when we need to sit on the carpet and why. And then we practice with the children to make sure they have a good understanding of the behavior that is expected and how to 
um, perform this behavior. So um, you show the process behavior, how to do it, you give the examples, and then you help the children while they practice. And that is all.